Coconut has to be the most underrated crop in this country, Nigeria. And that is why today I want to show you amazing reasons why you must, why you should have a coconut farm. Especially for those of you, for those of us who come from the coconut belt in Nigeria. Coconut is an amazing crop. And come to think of it, uh, when you compare it with oil palm, they are both from the palm family. And is the second most prominent crop after the oil palm from that family. Is a crop that can turn you into millionaire within five years. As in, because it takes three years to fruit, and after the three years, you you continue reaping and smiling to the bank. Coconut is so so much underrated. Everybody's attention has been on oil palm, and just because oil palm has a wider agroecological zone it can be grown in about 21 states in the country in nigeria unlike coconut which have a uh, higher requirement for water and that and that's why coconuts are uh, built in nigeria is just about 15 states so but the wealth in this crop is so so much amazing as in i can tell you for that so on today's episode, I'm going to be letting you know, I'm going to be showing you five amazing reasons why you must or you should consider owning a coconut farm. And this is not because I'm running a kind of comparison between oil palm and coconut. Oil palm and coconut, they are both great crop. They are both great economic crop. It all depends on your goal, your agenda. But even coconut, coconut have some advantage even over the oil palm. And one of the advantage coconut have over the oil palm is that uh, it is less expensive to manage. Managing an oil palm farm, I can tell you for that. I can tell you categorically. Managing an oil palm farm is a hell of work. It's a whole lot of work. Though... The work you put in, you will definitely get your reward. But I can tell you for a fact that coconut is not, managing a coconut plantation or a coconut farm is not as, as, as hard or as demanding like that of oil palm. Managing a coconut farm is, is not so much expensive, so much troublesome like that of oil palm. So and another thing is that Another thing with coconut over the oil palm is that in an hectare, you can have more trees than you have when you are doing uh, oil palm cultivation. So that is just by the way. Now, I'm going to be telling you five reasons why you, five amazing reasons why you should consider owing or having an coconut, a coconut uh, plantation. The number one thing is that in oil palm, you hardly make so much money for yourself if you don't go into processing. But the case is not that with coconut. When you have your coconut, you plant your coconut, hybrid coconut, the tall hybrid or the dwarf hybrid, either of the one, the one that is best suitable for you, and you can, you can, get, a, you can get a land in a very, very good a location in its agroecological zone and you plant your coconut you wait for the three years and you start making your money so you can not actually make so much money from oil palm if you don't go into the processing of it but that is not the case with coconut if you have your coconut fruiting and you want to sell like that you will still make your money because as we have it now a medium-sized coconut one is about 500 naira is about uh, that's the, and that is the average price that is the average price and a tree of coconut can give you as much more even more than 100 coconut coconut fruit i mean and there are so many ways by which you can make money if you don't have the capacity to go into processing selling your coconut you will still make a reasonable amount of money from your from your coconut tree 
and that is about 50,000 naira per tree. It will be giving you about 50,000 naira per tree in income if you manage your coconut farm very well. Another thing is that if you want to now go into the value chain of it, coconut is an amazing product. If you go into the value chain of producing coconut oil, coconut oil <laughs> per liter now, a co coconut oil per liter is about 7,000 naira per liter. I don't know any other vegetable oil that sell as that. Even the oil palm and the palm oil. <laughs> the palm oil doesn't doesn't have doesn't have that price. Though the the amount of oil you'll be getting per hectare from coconut is lesser than the amount of oil you'll be getting per, per hectare from oil palm. You get more oil from oil palm. But the price, I'm talking about the price premium. So you have coconut oil if you want to go fully into processing coconut. You have your coconut oil to sell. Another amazing product from coconut processing is the coconut water. You will make massive money for yourself. Coconut water is, is, is a kind of a, a luxury beverage now. If you can package it very well, you bottle it very well, uh, you, you, you make a hell, lot, hell of money for yourself. Another thing you can make money from coconut is by doing coconut milk. Coconut milk is another interesting beverage, as in you make money easily from that. Coconut shell that you throw away, you can actually set up a factory, a mini factory, and produce brisket, charcoal cubes from coconut. And the coconut husk, you can turn it into cocoa pits, and you sell it to, to people who want to use substrate to grow seedlings in the greenhouse. So these are amazing ways by which you can make money from coconut. So I will advise you, if you are from southeastern Nigeria, south southern Nigeria, and southwestern Nigeria, where we, you have a reasonable amount of rain annually, consider establishing a coconut farm. And even if you have land in the middle belt of Nigeria and you have money to establish irrigation, the most important factor in coconut production is water. I'm not saying you should go and establish your coconut in a, in a waterlogged environment, but coconut need constant supply of water throughout the year. And research has shown that an irrigated coconut farm will have its yield improved to about with about 30 to 40 percent. And coconut is, is, is just just amazing. And the, the reason why I came out actually to make this, this video is I've not really talked much about coconut. And this is an amazing crop. We are sleeping on this crop. I read in the news, Nigeria imported over 300 billion uh, coconut product, coconut and coconut product in the last five years. So this is an industry you can also tap into. By, by even having 10 coconut stand, you'll be making reasonable amount of money for yourself. So with this, I've come to the end of today's uh, topic and I hope I've been able to motivate you if you are somebody that you've been procrastinating on establishing a coconut farm for yourself. I really, really wish you the best and I want to see and get some success story from you. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Shishi.